Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Golden Wax 464. Um, I've tried them both out. Um, I definitely prefer the 464. I just found that the candles came out um, smoother. So I'm gonna be using the 464. And this is in flake form, so it's really easy to um, melt. And here I have this jar that I've been using, so I'm gonna go ahead and empty it and then weigh it out. I'm gonna turn the scale on and I'm just gonna put a paper towel here just um, so that it doesn't get so messy. And I'm going to place the jar, whatever you're measuring the wax in. It looks dirty, but it's not. I've only used this for clean wax, so. Um, I'm going to put the jar on the scale and then I'm going to tear it so that's going to um, zero it out. Then I'm going to go grab some wax and then I'm going to measure the wax. Okay, so here I have 13.5, 13.6. Um, that's close enough for me. So this is how much wax I'm going to be pouring into the wax melter. Then along with that, because I'm making two candles, so this is enough for two candles. Each candle is going to have um, seven ounces of wax in it. So um, this is going to be enough for um, the two candles. Fragrance oil, I'm going to do 0.8 ounces of fragrance oil. So 13.5 plus 0.8 is a little bit over 14. I'm okay with that because I would rather have um, extra wax than not enough wax. So 0.8 fragrance oil. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into the melter. And then I'm gonna hit this first button and that's gonna start the melting process. Once it's ready, it will get to this um, icon here. It means the fragrance oil is ready to be added and it will beep so it will let me know when. Then when it gets to this one, that means that um, it's ready for you to pour into your vessel. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna pour it into the jars. And um, each time it gets to a new phase, you have to press it when you're ready for it to start the next phase. Um, when I first did this, it was a complete fail and I was just waiting for it to go on its own. But um, I guess it's a good thing that you have to let the little machine know that you're ready for it to go into the next phase. So while it's melting, it is important um, to help the stirring process. It's supposed to stir itself, but um, I got better results when I took a popsicle stick and started stirring it myself. It just helped it get an even melt faster. So I'll be doing that throughout the, the process. Okay, so while that's melting, let me show you guys the setup I have here. Here I have my heat gun. This, I just got it today. This is a um, thermometer and this will help me get a temperature for the wax um in my first video i said i didn't need one because this does all the work but i just wanted to make sure that this was melting and um ready at the right temperature so i wanted to test it out and so i got this heat um, thermometer my scale's right there. Here I have an extra pitcher. Here I have the empty jars, so we're gonna get those ready next. So while that's going on, I guess let me talk louder. Here I have my little toppings. Um, for these two candles, I'm gonna be using the amethyst crystal. And um, these candles, I want them to be like protection candles. And just to give you those vibes. Um, so amethyst is a really good stone for protection to um, reduce stress and there's so many healing properties about this crystal and so I wanted to make some candles. Here I have some um, wick bars. This helps hold the wick in place. Here I have a wick trimmer. This is the fragrance oil I'm going to be using. Peppermint and eucalyptus just because I feel like this also helps with stress relief. 
um, which again ties into the amethyst crystal. Let's check on the wax. So I'm just gonna break it up with a popsicle stick and that will help it melt faster. Okay, so while that's going, I'm gonna wipe down the, the jars. This is the CD12 six inch pre-tabbed wick. And this is what is recommended for this jar um, or vessel from the Candle Science website. I'm also going to be trying out a wood wick for the first time and I am going with the Crackling Booster Wick 0 .03 and this is the size 0.5 inches so you can tell the size by lining it up here on this guide. So I'm going to be using this one because um, this is the recommended size for a vessel with this diameter which I believe is 3 inches. These are the clips for the wood wicks. So I'm gonna take a wick sticker and I am going to place it on my wick and then take this off. And here you could see that there's some kind of um, little design at the bottom and it's at the center. So I'm gonna try and center that as best as I can and then just push it down. And I'll do the same for this one. Since that's almost done, we should have our fragrance oil ready. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh this little shot glass. So I'm gonna tear it out and I want 0 0.80 ounces of fragrance oil. So I'm gonna work on that now. So that noise means it's ready for the fragrance oil but it's okay to leave that going while I get the fragrance oil ready. Okay, so here we have 0.8 ounces of fragrance oil, and again, this is peppermint and eucalyptus. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. As you can see, the wax is fully melted. First, let me take the temperature though. Usually they recommend that you are at 180 when adding the fragrance oil. This seems to be at 172. So not quite 180. I'm gonna write that down. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour it just because it's been working fine for me. So I'm gonna pour it in. And then I'm gonna hit the next button and that's gonna start spinning it so that the fragrance oil is distributed evenly. So as you can see, it's spinning. And it smells amazing. Let me write down the temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wick bar on. This helps the wick stay in place. So I just remembered that I have some dried eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is one of my favorite scents. And so I have this um, branch from a eucalyptus bouquet that um, I've left um, to dry. So I think this is gonna be perfect for some um, toppings to the candles. I think I'm just gonna cut them instead of pulling the petals off because then they break. Okay, so I took the temperature and it was at 151. So I'm writing that down. 
gonna place a paper towel on my scale again and turn it on. Then I'm gonna place my jar on there and I'm gonna tear it so that it zeroes out. Can you guys see that? And now I'm gonna pour the wax in there slowly until it's at seven ounces. So this, sh this wax should be enough to make each candle, since I'm only making two, a little over seven ounces. Okay, so that's 7.2. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, so as you can see, I had just enough for seven ounces for that candle. So it's really important to weigh it so that you can label the um, candles correctly. I am labeling these as seven ounce candles. Okay, it is 4.40 p.m. I put my little clock there. I'm leaving both of these candles to um, sit here. I'm gonna check on them in a couple hours. So as you can see, it is now 6.52, so it's been a little over two hours. The um, jars are still a little bit warm, but for the most part, they have dried. Um, the top is pretty smooth. So it looks really good. I am very happy with it. This is actually like extra smooth. There's no kind of um, bumps, no sinkholes, nothing. Um, here's the wood wicked one. And there's um, a little bit of imperfections on the surface. I don't know if you could see it good through the camera. Um, because they're pretty minor, but honestly, it, it looks really good. Um, I don't feel like the wick is centered all the way. I don't know, maybe it's just at an angle. Not too sure, but um, this one doesn't look centered. This wick looks pretty centered. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the heat gun to just melt the top um, layer and add the little toppings in. So this is the heat gun I have, I'm going to turn it on and then you're just going to hover over the top. I like to spin it so that it gets an even melt pool. It doesn't take too long to melt the top layer either. so. For the mica powder, I um, just like to do a little um, sprinkle or I like to dust it a little bit so I'll stick a popsicle stick in here and then I'll kind of just um, tap it. So that kind of gives you a subtle finish. Now I'm going to place my amethyst crystal. And um, the eucalyptus leaf. And then a few more little crystals. And I kind of just drop them in. So, so pretty. I am so in love with this. Um, this one here, the one that I made with the wood wick, I've never made one with the wood wick before. It's really easy with the wax melter that I have. So, um, so far I'm liking the wax melter as a side um, hustle or hobby. I definitely recommend it. Um, it's honestly working really well for me. I haven't... Um, I didn't have to worry about the temperature or anything. I did get the temperature gun to double check it just because I was curious. And I do plan on investing in um, something else to melt the wax in the future um, once I do start selling candles. So 
for now that's working really well for me I'm gonna burn this one um, you want to wait um, more than 24 hours before you burn your candle um, the ones that I have made I've waited maybe a little over 24 hours not not even two days and they're burning fine they're they have an even melt pool like everything is looking great so um so far everything everything's working as it should that's what they look like with the lid on so again i'm super happy um i'm gonna do a video on how i designed the labels this is literally my first attempt at designing something um i designed my own logo so far i'm loving the look let me know what you guys think below um i can't wait to make some more and um, share that process with you guys if you have any questions let me know down below again don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next